Hello and welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. My name is Alfonso Peluso and I'm an associate teaching professor in the College of Architecture at IIT, the home of the legendary Mies van der Rohe, and I'm adjunct faculty at Columbia College Chicago in the Interior Architecture program. Shout out to all my students. I hope you're having a great day. It's a nice fall day here in Chicago, and actually our fall has been pretty nice, pretty warm. I hope the weather's great where you're at. All right, today, I'm very excited about today, today's tutorial. We're going to be looking at image prompting or prompt crafting in mid-journey, learning how to create image like these that you see on the screen. All right. Before we jump into that, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? Click on the subscribe button and then click on all the bells, all the bells. Click on the bell to receive all notifications, see what I'm up to. If you're into di digital design, there is something here for you. All right, also connect with me on Instagram, looking to get to 3,000 followers. Connect with me at my first name, Alfonso, underscore my last name, Peluso. See what AI images I'm generating. See what my students are creating. Keep up to date with what I'm up to. All right, let's jump into today's tutorial. So we're going to take a step back a little bit from mid-journey for a second and just talk for a moment. What is AI? Well... AI is a lot of things. AI is a tool, but it's a tool that learns. So this is something new for us as architects, a tool that learns and evolves. So that's one of the things AI is. Also, AI is a design method of the 21st century. And we might argue that it is the first design method of the 21st century. Everything else we're using was invented or was in some way, shape, or form existing in the 20th century. So that's pretty exciting. A design method of the 21st century. All right, you see the image playing on the right, and we see what is mid-journey. We're asking that question, and this image keeps playing on the right. That is a mid-journey animation of the images coming to life for us. So mid-journey is a latent diffusion model, and we'll talk a little bit more about what that is. It turns Gaussian noise into images. So it starts out with this Gaussian noise, and then that Gaussian noise turns into images. So what is a latent diffusion model? Well, we can go both ways. We can go with the image on the left, or we can go with the image on the right. If we start with the image on the left of a very cute little kitten there, it is taking that image and it's putting that into its training data set and it's turning that image into Gaussian noise and it becomes just noise at the end. And then the opposite way is to take all these images in its data set that it's trained with, take all that noise and turn that noise into an image. So that's a latent diffusion model. And here's an example of a data set. So you see images of fish and multiple images of fish and a it looks like a wolf, and then butterflies and elephants. So mid-journey is a latent diffusion model, and I don't know how many images it's trained on, if it's millions or billions, but it's a lot of images that it's trained on. All right, sneak, pre sneak peek at our image prompting, how we're going to set up our image prompting, which is also called prompt crafting. All right, so let's jump into it. So I'm over in Discord. You know Midjourney runs in Discord. And we're going to type in the famous forward slash imagine with the space. And we're just going to type in our subject. So we're starting our prompt crafting. And I usually start with a subject. So we're going to start with a subject. And I'm going to type in a building and see what Midjourney gives us. So a building plus I'm going to put a dash dash. AR for aspect ratio, and I'm going to work with a 9 by 16 aspect ratio. And that does affect the image that comes out of it. And we'll talk a little bit more once these images show up. So 
starting our prom crafting with a subject. Take a note on that, a subject, a building. All right, let's see what we have here. I'm going to click on it, press the space bar to pop it open in a browser. All right, this is what MidJourney thinks a building looks like. And it's kind of uh, a fantasy building. It's, it's stacked. And I think the aspect ratio definitely has something to do with the image that's generated. So we're getting these very tall buildings, um, stacked elements. Um, not really something that a building looks like uh, in the real world. So, you know, hey, you architects out there who think that AI is going to take your job. Um, not yet. We still need you. All right, so that's a subject, a building. So let's add an adjective to the subject. Let's say a beautiful building and see what MidJourney thinks about a beautiful building. So we'll get our forward slash imagine going and we're going to put in a beautiful building. And we'll stay with our aspect ratio of 9 by 16. And see what Midjourney thinks a beautiful building is. All right, what do we have here? Well, it's better than our last prompt. And to some people, this might be, or these might be images of a beautiful building, but it's definitely embellished them with more ornate detail. And it's tried to put in things like or add things like lighting, maybe a dust shot is more beautiful, or types of trees with this lilac color. But it's definitely embellished the image, and this is what Midjourney thinks a beautiful building looks like. So we're just working with our subject, and we've added an adjective to the subject, a beautiful building. What I'd like to do now is put something in front of the subject, which is the composition. What are we, how do we want the image composed? Do we want an eye level view? Do we want a view from below? Do we want a view from above? So what's our composition? So composition will come before subject. So let's go ahead and look at that. Let's crompt, let's crompt. <laughs> let's craft a prompt with composition and subject. So our forward slash imagine, and we're gonna put in a view from above so that's my that's my composition now my subject a view from above a beautiful building a beautiful building okay so we have our composition a view from above and our subject a beautiful building and then we're going to put in our aspect ratio ai ar9 by 16 and let's see what midjourney comes up with it for this Okay, let's see what we have. So our composition has come into play very strongly here, a view from above. We didn't tell it interior, exterior. We didn't really give it a whole lot of information, just a view from above a beautiful building. So we're getting those images right now, a view from above a beautiful building. So next, I'd like to move on to style because what we're seeing here is mid-journey is giving us what we ask for, but maybe not what we want. And I stole that phrase from an uh, uh, awesome AI artist, architect, teacher, professor, uh, Joshua, Josh Vermillion, out in, he's out in Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, so Midjourney will give you what you ask for, but not always what you want. So we're going to help Midjourney a little bit by giving it style, telling it a style to work in. So we have our composition, a view from above. So let's start to type this out, forward slash imagine. We have our composition, a view from above. And then we have our subject, a view from above. The subject is a beautiful building. And then we're going to have our style. So a view from above, 
a beautiful building in the style of, and I'm going to choose UN Studio Architects. UN Studio Architects. Okay, and see what Mid Journey thinks about UN Studio Architects and how it's been trained, what kind of images in its data set it has for UN Studio Architects. Okay, so a view from above a beautiful building in the style of UN Studio Architects. So we have our composition, our subject, and our style. Let's get our aspect ratio in there and see what Mid Journey comes up with. All right, so these images are very different than what we've had previously. So we're moving into some very, I don't know, modern. The, the image in the upper left looks like Carlos Scarpa. It looks like some of his work, so that's kind of interesting. The other images are, you know, just these kind of not so exciting rectilinear cubist form boxes that we're getting. Not quite a UN studio building. Um, that I'm looking for. So sometimes you're not going to get what you want on the first try. But sometimes you have to give Mid Journey another try. So I like to remix this prompt and see what uh, see what Mid Journey does, which is same prompt. I shouldn't say remix it. Same prompt and see what the outcome is. So I'm just going to copy paste this. I don't really have an image that I want to upscale or learn from yet, and that's what I'm looking for. So I'm going to copy and paste this text into my imagine. Oh, got to get that spelled right. And let's see what Mid Journey comes up with on a second try. A view from above a beautiful building in the style of UN Studio Architects. All right, let's see what we have. All right, so it's it stayed pretty true to the rectangular cubist boxy forms, except for the image in the lower right. We have some, you know, some curvature, some undulating ramps are starting to happen there. We're still, it's still not clear on what type of building this actually is. So that might be something you want to think about when you're prompting and you're prompt crafting uh, the type of the building when you're doing the subject. We're staying very general. We're saying a beautiful building in the style of UN Studio Architects. So let's go ahead and upscale this image, which image number four, and see if we can do some strong variations of that image and see what we come up with. So that's going to be image four. I'm going to go ahead and upscale that. All right, and I'm going to choose to very strong. I have my remix mode on, so I'm going to choose very strong. Uh, same thing, a view from a beautiful, a view from above a beautiful building in the style of UN Studio Architects. And let's see what it comes up with. All right, let's see what we have here. So we're getting a lot of, I notice a lot of trees, <laughs> a lot of greenery has been, so that's just maybe mid-journey, liking a lot of greenery. Um, I'm going to see if I can stare mid-journey in another direction here. I'm not completely happy with the images I'm getting. They're not what I want. They're what I'm asking for, but they're not what I want. So let's see what we can do here. So we're going to add a word wow. in here. Oh, there's my, my dog Rita. She must be excited about a squirrel or something outside. Um, say hello to Rita. Okay, so I'm going to add a word into here. So I'm going to remix this prompt. I'm going to copy it. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to vary another image. So that was varying strong. So I'll, all four of these images are some variation of this larger upscaled image. I'm going to try a, a prompt from scratch and just adding another word in there. So I'm going to copy and paste this in. 
Midjourney loves the word parametric. If you're looking for something that is more complex geometry, it loves that, loves that term. So where do I put it though? A view from above, a beautiful, I'll put in parametric. Parametric building. And that in the past is a key word that has really worked for me and what aesthetic that I've been looking for. Something with more complex geometry. So a view from above a beautiful parametric building in the style of UN Studio Architects. Aspect ratio 916. Let's see what Midjourney gives us for that. All right, so as you can tell, this has totally changed <laughs> the direction that Midjourney is going for, okay, with this word parametric. So we're getting a lot of really interesting, very interesting undulating forms. Um, so Midjourney loved that word parametric, so that's a key word to keep in mind. Uh, let's see if we can start to evolve the image in the upper right. The image in the upper right is a view from above, a beautiful parametric building in the style of UN Studio Architects. Uh, so let's see if we can push that one a little bit further. Midjourney loves night views and dusk views. Maybe that's part of the word beautiful, but we'll, we'll see. Let's, so we're going to upscale that image. It's image number two. We'll upscale that image and see if we can continue our prompt crafting we so far we've looked at composition subject style now let's add season let's add season into this okay so we're gonna vary i could vary subtle or i could vary strong and sometimes i do both of them i'm gonna start with a very strong and i'm gonna put in a season after un studio architect so i'm gonna put comma winter and see what we get with that hopefully we have a lot of trees but they're just with the leaves fall the leaves uh are gone <laughs> they've had they have fallen off and fall all right so let's see what we get with this all right let's have a look All right, so we have what looks like to be winter. We have some snow uh, on top of the buildings, and we have a lot of evergreen trees. So um, that's, that's kind of interesting that it, it chose that type of tree, and it kind of did that on its own. So we've looked at composition, subject, style, and season. The next thing is to look at the time of day, and we'll talk a little bit more of that when we see what We'll talk a little bit more about that when we see what Midjourney gives us. So let's add that into the mix here. Um, do I want to upscale one of these images? Um, I might, but I think uh, let's take a step back here. Let's see, and this is just the workflow that I used. That was very strong, and we got very strong images. And let's see what very subtle gives us by adding in winter to it and see what we have there. Just, you know, I'd like to look at both of these outcomes. All right, so this, this kept us in the realm of the same building. It varied it subtle, but it did add winter into it. So that's great. So I, I like that. Let's see if we can keep going with this building type and if we can make it a daytime image. I love the nighttime image. It's great. But let's say I want a daytime image. Let's see what Midjourney thinks about that. So I'm going to upscale image two. Okay, and we're going to add in time or time of day. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to vary this subtle. And so we have a view from above a beautiful parametric building in the style of UN Studio Architects winter. I'm going to put in day, daytime. And see what Midjourney thinks of that. I can tell already. I can tell already that Midjourney is fighting with us. It doesn't want to give us a daytime image here. <laughs> it 
it's keeping it very, very n dusk or nighttime view. So uh, mid journey is, it's not really giving us what we ask for in this time. It's not, definitely not giving us what we want. Um, so I could sit here and I could, I could, I could force mid journey to make a daytime view. I'd have to just maybe take out a few things in the prompt or start with one from scratch, but I'm really liking the way this one is going. So, um, let's think of what we can add also to this. So we've looked so far at composition, subject, style, season, time. Let's talk about entourage. We have a lot of trees, but let's say I want crowds of people. So I'm going to go ahead and upscale this image here. I like one, two, three. I like that image there. So what we're doing is it's really called um, an iterative process or a generative process. We're letting mid-journey iterate, give us several different uh, options or iterations, and then we're choosing from those iterations. Um, the M journey uh, mid journey is generating those for us and we're choosing from them so we're kind of curating it and steering mid journey in different directions so we're the curator we're the architect um, and this is more of a generative process or an iterative process so let's go ahead and let's try very subtle and we're going to add in crowds of people crowds of people so I'm saying that this is our entourage so we have a view from above which is composition a beautiful parametric building our subject and in the style of UN studio architects our style winter is our season daytime is our time and crowds of people that's our entourage so let's see what mid-journey gives us for that All right, let's check it out. All right, so now we have crowds of people. Crowds of people, they have taken over the image. <laughs> All right, so we have our crowds of people. So that's our entourage. The last thing that I want to look at is mood. I'm not sure what image I want to go with. I like some things more than others. Like I like the building in the lower left, but I'm not sure what's happening on top of the building here. So let's go with, I'm going to go with the top left, first one, and I'm going to upscale that one, and we're going to add in our last prompt directive in this crafting prompts tutorial. So what is the last thing going to be? Well, that's going to be mood, and we can put a whole lot of different things in for mood, but one thing I like to do is, is work with the lighting a little bit. So I'm going to very subtle... And for the mood, I'm going to put in heaven. Oh, let's get that spelled right. Heaven. I'm going to put in, actually, I'm going to start with the word ethereal. Ethereal, heaven, like, light. Let's go with that. That's going to be my mood. And you can come up with a lot of different things for mood, but that's what I'm going for right now. Ethereal, heaven-like light. And let's see what we get with that. So if I go forward a slide, so we've looked at in our prompt crafting, we've looked at all of these different um, directives, I'll call it. So we have composition, subject, style, season, time, entourage, and mood. And I believe that this combination here will warrant really good results for you and your prompts will be crafted really well if you follow these guidelines. All right, let's see what Midjourney's up to. Let's go on over. All right, it, looked like it, it looks like it finished it. And let's see what we got. Let's see if we love any of these. It definitely changed the atmospheric quality uh, to it. And I think, I don't know, I'm kind of torn. Uh, this image in the bottom left keeps giving us something really funny above it. I don't know what that is, but let's go ahead and upscale image number one. And we'll take a look at that. All right. 
There we have it. All right. It is really, really a pretty amazing image. It really draws the viewer into it. So I hope this is going to help you in your prompt crafting. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Tell me why you liked it. Connect with me on Instagram. Share your images. I love to see how this prompt crafting is working for you. All right, that's it. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I will see you on the next one.